Hello, Paul T. Now I'm just going to go through this science investigation to make sure that you know exactly how to set it up. So remember that what we're trying to do is to find out how the length and direction of shadows change throughout the day. So you need a nice sunny day, a large piece of paper, and I, see how I put the rocks around the um, on the corner so that it won't blow away. And I've just set it up on a table to show you, but you'll need to put yours on the ground. Then you need to get some blue tack or plasticine, Play-Doh, and a stick. It can be, if you could use a pop stick or just a piece off a tree like I've found. And you're going to put that into the middle of the piece of paper. Now, it's actually three o'clock in the afternoon now, and you can see there's a problem with this because if I'm going to be measuring the shadow, this shadow has actually gone off the piece of paper. So what you might find that you have to do throughout the day, because you're not allowed to move the piece of paper, you might have to add some paper to it. All right? So at the end of the day, I'll put a piece of sticky tape on here. All right? Now, you will be doing this from whenever you start in the morning, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. But, and you'll be making a lot of different recordings of what's happening with this stick. Now this is three o'clock, so what I do is I have to trace over the shadow so that I can see how long it is. It doesn't matter about the shape of it. You can see it's a thicker shadow here. I'm more interested in the length of the shadow and the time. And I'm going to write here three o'clock, okay? and I would be able to measure this later. So I might have found at two o'clock that the shadow was here somewhere. So I would have just traced the shadow and put the time. So by the end of the day, you should have about six different tracings that show you how the length of the shadow and the direction has changed throughout the day. And then this piece of paper you need to keep because you're going to be recording that data onto a graph, okay? So a big piece of paper, stones or bricks to hold it in place, texture, something to keep that stick firm for the whole day, and you'll be in for some interesting results. I can't wait to hear how you all get along. Bye!